Kakamega Senator Boney has boldly cautioned President Ruto of a bill that is set to be introduced to the Senate that he believes will give Cabinet Secretary a chance to borrow without audit. Speaking in the Senate, the lawmaker claimed that the bill which will be sent to the House from the National Assembly is set to give ministers a chance to borrow for the next five years without being able without tracking them. He stated that the bill will be created then sign clauses be suspended so that the ministers can borrow as they wish. He firmly told President Ruto that the bill will make his ministers to borrow after which huge sums of money will not be accounted for after five years something that he furiously opposed. Let's just listen in. I, at the risk of uh, uh, anticipating debate, my vice chair is not here, there's a bill I have seen which is trying, which has come through the, the National Assembly, is looking for a concurrence. Colleagues, it is trying to shift public debt from being benchmarked on debt selling to anchoring so that the debt is a percentage of the GDP which is the modern way of doing things. But what it is, why it is worrying me, colleagues, is that I've seen a clause there, which has now been approved, if we agree. They are saying that whereas it should be at, anticipated to be at 55% and the cabinet secretary can be allowed to borrow at not more than 5%, they are saying that for five years, this clause should be suspended. So if you pass a law to create debt anchor, and then you suspend the clause that is supposed to be implemented, it means you are giving the cabinet secretary an open check to borrow as they wish. You know. This house is supposed to protect the president also. When Anglo leasing happened in this country, Moi, as president, thought all was well. Not, not, not Anglo leasing, Goldenberg. Moi thought all was well. Had parliament of that time protected President Moi, Kamlesh Patni would not have run away with those billions of shillings. Similarly, when Anglo leasing took place, Kibaki thought all was well. So as President Ruto works very hard, we must, as Parliament, remind him that some of the decisions being made at, by, by the Treasury, we got to be cautious. My brothers and sisters, we are building a country. The children have just left the gallery. So if we don't grow the economy so that those children are better off, it means all of them will just find themselves in the streets jobless the way today we have four million children on the streets and yet they are holders of degrees, diplomas and certificates because our economy is not growing. Thank you so much. I second the motion.